What's going on guys? I'm Brian. And I'm Joe. And in this video, we're going to discuss with you all the proper forms of spotting that are out there for the most common exercises. Of course, we're kind of inspired to shoot this video because we see spotting done incorrectly in the gym all the time on pretty much every exercise. So all the way from someone holding onto the barbell the entire time while the other person's lifting, which of course completely negates the lift, all the way to just wrong form in general, where it looks like the person doesn't even know what they're doing. So for today's video, we're gonna go over the most common exercises and how to spot correctly to keep you guys safe. We're gonna start with how to spot someone utilizing dumbbells, either on a shoulder press or bench press. And then we're gonna go over to spotting someone on squats and then finish up with spotting someone on the most popular barbell bench press. Now there are three key points to remember when spotting someone on a given lift. So the very first thing you wanna keep in mind is safety. Your role as a spotter is to keep the lifter from being pinned under the weight. Um, and in order to maintain safety, you have to have proper form. If the lifter does not even have proper form, they shouldn't even be doing the lift to begin with. So ensuring that that is in place before even attempting to spot that lifter. And then last but not least is communication. You wanna have good communication between the lifter and the spotter. The lifter should be telling the spotter how many reps they're gonna do, whether or not they need a lift off on an exercise like the bench press, um, and potentially if they're gonna be doing any negative repetitions at the end of the set. All right, so if you guys are ready, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so for the first form of spotting we're gonna be talking about today is spotting someone using dumbbells. Now, Joe is over here, he's gonna be doing some reps on the dumbbell shoulder press. Of course, these same rules can apply for either the shoulder press, the Arnold press, even flat bench press or incline bench press as well using dumbbells. So, and of course for all these exercises, it's completely fine to assist them at the beginning to get into that starting position you're gonna be spotting them underneath the elbows to get into that position and during the lift. Now, the one thing you want to avoid, I see a lot of people trying to spot someone either holding onto their wrist or holding onto the weights themselves. You don't wanna do that. Stay underneath the elbows. So, we're gonna have Joe here go ahead and get in that starting position at the bottom. And so, if he needs any help, we'll be right there. And he's gonna start performing some reps. And I'm gonna be following him through the entirety of the movement, up and down. And as you can see, I'm not touching his elbows, but I'm right there to assist him getting over any sticking points he's having difficulty with, or if he begin, begins to fail. And you can tell if he begins to fail because the, weight, the weights are gonna stop going in the upward direction. They're gonna start falling back down before he completes a rep. So on this one, go ahead and start to fail, Joe. And see, the weights come back down, and you're just gonna push up on his elbows. You're not gonna bring them in, and you're just gonna push them straight up. All right, that's good. So, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Now, like I said, one of the general rules of thumb is you wanna start with that communication there. So, if Joe was telling me he was shooting for 10 reps, most likely I'm already thinking that, well, maybe he might need rep, um, help at reps 7, 8, 9, or especially 10, because most likely he wants to hit failure around 10. So just be aware of that. You don't want to be standing back here the entire time, and you don't want to be holding onto his elbows the entire time either. I hate that. So that's enough for spotting someone with dumbbells. Now he's going to take over and talk about spotting someone doing squats. So now we're going to show you how to spot somebody doing a back squat. Now this can be done with two people. You would have one person on either side of the bar and those spotters would follow the barbell with the lifter through the entirety of the lift and only touching the bar when necessary. Uh, and that is at the point of failure or the lifter needs help through their sticking point. So today we are going to show you how to spot somebody on the back squat with only one spotter. So. Before we begin, we're gonna let the squatter get into place. They're gonna unrack the weight and then they're going to step back and get into position. So before we even get close to them, we let them get into position. So 
You want to get set up with a slightly staggered stance, nice wide stance, because you want to have a real stable foundation. And what you're going to do is as the lifter goes down, you're going to bring your arms under their arms, again, not touching the lifter unless it is necessary. And if the lifter starts to fail, they start to go back down, that's when you want to squeeze their lats and put your hands on their chest to keep them from tipping forward and, and help them bring the weight back up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through about five reps and show you what that looks like. All right, here we go. On this one, I'm going to fail. And there you have it. That's how you spot someone on the back squat. Nice. All right, so now I'm going to show you all how to spot correctly on the barbell bench press. Now, of course, this is a very popular exercise, but at the same time, I see people uh, performing this spot incorrectly on this exercise all the time in the gym. So I want to make sure you guys know how to do it correctly. Now, of course, I can't emphasize this enough. If there's way too much weight on the barbell and someone asks you to spot them on that, if you feel uncomfortable in any way, it's okay to say no to them. Now, you also have the other option to get a second person to assist with the spot, just like on squats where each of you stand on either side of the barbell and assist from there. That's fine too. Now, of course, you're not responsible for lifting all of the way by yourself. That's not how spotting works. A lot of the times when I spot someone on bench press, I'm just helping guide them when they get to that sticking point. I may only use a couple of fingers to get them past that. And that's really all you should be doing. You shouldn't be having to lift all of the weight on your own. Now let's talk about form. Joe, go ahead and grab the barbell. Now first, let's talk about foot position. You're not going to be standing back here with your feet way back behind them because you're going to have to bend over and that's going to throw you off balance. What I do and what I see most people do is you'll keep one foot in the back and I have it slightly angled to the side and then with my right leg I'll actually step forward and put it almost parallel with where their head is. My knee is almost equal to parallel with their ear actually. And that's going to help me maintain my center of balance during the entire time, especially when I have to jump in and help them. Now, as far as hand position goes, um, I see this performed in many ways too. The preferred method that I see most people doing and what I do and I feel comfortable doing is I do a mixed or reverse uh, grip, which of course I'm not gripping the bar, but I'll, be, I'll have my left hand in a supinated position and my right hand in a prone position. And that's going to give me the most power if I have to jump in and lift the barbell up. So, and of course, uh, one other key point or tip that I do too, I don't lift the weight up with my back. I s actually squat down a little bit as they're lifting and lift up with my legs a little bit as well as my arms and upper body too. Kind of using my entire body to get that weight up and help them, especially if they fail. So, Joe here is gonna start doing a bunch of reps and I told him just to go to failure until he can't do anymore. Of course, um, that might happen pretty fast because we've already done chest today, so just a fair warning. So, and I'm gonna be ready at any time to jump in. I'm just gonna be following the bar. I'm not touching the bar. And I want him to be struggling on these reps. I'm not just gonna, as soon as he pauses a little bit, I'm not gonna jump in and lift the weight up for him. I want him to work for these reps going. You want to be communicating with him too. Sometimes it's okay to ask. See now you see there he's starting to struggle a little bit so I'm ready possibly to jump in on this rep. He's got it. See I'm not I'm still not helping him. Now I'm pretty sure on this next one he's probably gonna fail. Let's do it kid. All right so now I'm helping him just a little bit past that sticking point and we're gonna re-rack it. <laughs> And that is how you spot someone correctly on the barbell bench press. All right, hope that was informative for everyone. Now remember, safety is your number one priority. So when you're acting as a spotter for somebody, do not get distracted, 
Don't be looking around the gym and, and watching what everyone else is doing. Focus on the lifter and only jump in when necessary. All right, so if you guys like this video, always make sure to give us a thumbs up. We always definitely appreciate that. And if you're new and want to subscribe, hit that subscribe button right now. We will see you all next time. Spot safe. See you guys. Hey everyone, it's Brian. If you like this video and would like to further support our channel, make sure to visit our official Patreon page. Every contribution helps us to continue making great quality videos. Thanks again for watching.